Today in our 2002 Toyota Sequoia, we're doing a test fit of the Kurt Cargo Carrier. This is a 20 by 48 cargo carrier, and that part number is C18110. Now this is designed to work with both inch and a quarter and two inch hitches and has a weight capacity of 300 pounds. And although it does have a pretty high weight capacity, it is lightweight, so it's easy to insert and take out of your hitch. We're gonna start off with a few measurements. First is going to be our ground clearance. We're gonna have about 20 and a quarter inches of clearance. Overall to our vehicle, we're gonna have about 27 inches. And our closest, po closest point is gonna be about seven and a half inches. As for our exhaust on our Sequoia, we do have a single passenger side. It's up under our fascia, pretty far back. It also curves down, so we shouldn't have to worry about carrying heat sensitive materials in a specific region on our carrier. The next thing we'll check is our hatch breakover point. This is gonna be the point at which anything that's stacked on our carrier might make contact. It's gonna be about 16 inches, so just keep that in mind whenever you're loading up your gear. You might want to move anything that's higher than 16 inches off of your carrier before you open up that hatch. The next thing we'll take a look at is our hitch. Now, I did mention before that this works with both inch and a quarter and two inch hitches, class one, two, and three of those sizes. It also comes with an anti rattle bolt and clip, so it's going to keep a lot of the shake and play out of a cargo carrier as you head down the road, so you should have an overall smooth ride. So that's going to be our completed look at the Kurt 20 by 48 cargo carrier, part number C18110 on our 2002 Toyota Sequoia. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side to side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.